It's not hard to be in love with a Jeep. Of course, the Jeep Wrangler is America's off-road vehicle. Where else can you find an off-road vehicle, or particularly any vehicle in America, that really hasn't changed that much in its looks for the last 71 years? There's 71 years of heritage in this car, and if you look back at those original Jeeps, which helped us through the post-war years, they still have the same feeling as this one. Now this particularly Unlimited, and by the way, Unlimited denotes four doors in a Wrangler. This 10th anniversary package has a very different feel and look to the vehicle. First of all, the color, which is called Anvil, it's a kind of blue, really stands out, as well as all the extras it comes with. Now the base price is $34,100 of the Unlimited. Add in that 10th anniversary package, and you're looking at an extra $5,400. What does that get you? Well, the front bumpers. These are steel front bumpers. And how often do you see a vehicle that actually has real steel bumpers? Nowadays, they're all made of plastic. Not on this special Rubicon. Also, you can see here the red tow hooks. In the hood, there's the vents to actually keep the engine cool. And the same engine is in this, the 3.6, as you'll find in a lot of other vehicles which Chrysler, the group overall, make. Now, it's very capable off-road, we know that. It's also a lot of fun on-road, but let's get a look inside the vehicle and find out how appointed it is for this new model. There's a couple of things you need to know about this vehicle. It has very limited luxury potential. If you're looking to get into something comfortable and luxurious that is white and soft and fluffy, ah, this is not the car that you should be looking at. This is meaty, it's all about off-road. This sort of stuff can be wiped down and clean. It's expected to be muddy. And those windows are operated from the center console stack here for a very good reason. The doors are actually still able to come off this vehicle. Now, I noticed when I was looking at it, the door locks are actually embedded in the door. So what happens when you take the door off and you want to lock the vehicle? Well, clearly you're not going to be able to lock the vehicle if the doors are off, but it still gives you that wonderful summer feeling to be able to peel back this roof and take the doors off and go driving for the day. There's a couple of things you should also know. People who are buying these cars are buying both roof options. That means you have the convertible version where you can actually peel back the roof as we've done here, and you also have the hard top version. So when it gets cold and uncomfortable in the winter times, you could put a better top on to keep it warm and dry inside the cabin. The 10th anniversary version, which you're actually sitting in, is well appointed. Beautiful red leather seats, a lot of chrome, a lot of accents, and a nice logo embossed across the front that really tells you that you have a Jeep which celebrates part of their history. Let's take it for a spin on the autocross course. 295 horsepower, a 3.6 liter engine, and this car is made for road conditions that are not nice. It's made for mud, gravel, snow, ice, and also places that a lot of vehicles can't go. Now, on the straight and on the black top, it's a little bit loud and a little bit rough, but the payoff is all in the dirty, gravelly drive. This car grips the road, turns the corners, and handles exactly how you want it to, despite the fact that you'll find that it's really a vehicle that does much better in the mud.